Hello everyone! Welcome back to the channel, this is Jersey, and today we are having a special episode. We are visiting Aussie's Island, she's a subscriber, she's an amazing creator. This island is 747 hours dedicated to it. It's just mind-blowing what she has created here. This video is long, I know you guys see it, but there's so many details. We, we just got to break everything down. We got to see what she has created, why she did it. And it's just amazing. And the viewpoints and everything that she has laid out is everything is a purpose. And you can tell 747 hours to do this island. It's so worth it. I'm excited for all of you to get inspiration because there's so many things that I believe is going to inspire you to do, to bring to your island because Wow, it's just amazing. So I'm glad that you guys are here. Don't forget, grab your popcorn and your drinks. This is a long one. All right? All right, let's go see this island. Okay, and here we are. We are on Rainbow Rest. This island is incredible. We're gonna take our time. We're gonna walk. We're gonna look at every detail. So one of the first things that I wanted to check out was the water fountain this centerpiece that she has in her town it was incredible i like how she's using the placements of each of the water fountain and i like how she put the birth bath right there in the middle I, it gives us something that is different uh, i never thought about using them like that i like the whole structure i like the the patterns that we are creating i also like the she has like uh some of flowers inside the water as well and some of the bushes and the sprinklers it also so this only happens in the morning but it gives it an extra water design water aspect and it's, it's clever it's very uh she's just using her imagination so well in this area and it just fits well we have benches all around it so we have seating area the green grass is everything is well thought out i like how it's just right at the center it gives us something extra when we walk in this town. And it's big, and I like that it's big. It's not small, it's something that we can all enjoy. So there was one more that she, she wanted to make sure that I see it during the day, uh, in early in the morning, because that's when the sprinklers are running. And this is simple, it's nice. I like how the decorations are all laid out. I like the little flower pots right there in the front. Birth bath, again, with the water fountain, is it's just something that, in myself I haven't thought about so I like it I like it because I think it's gonna inspire you guys as well and I like like you sitting right here where we were sitting and it's just a nice view everything on this island right now is so beautifully done everything is placed in such a way I like how the water tank is hidden we have this little passageway on the back it just everything is laid out to perfection because it's especially the way she she made her town right it's just it's, it's a star for and we're gonna see that in the map and so the way she utilized every corner every area and then she has this fire this fire pits that at night they give this glow to the island that is different and then she hit them she buried them down they're hidden and they're hidden in such a way that you forget about them and there's this glow throughout the night now this is something that i was really in love with once again the garden i like how it's raised up like it's different i haven't approached it that way i haven't seen many people approach it this way and then when the sprinklers is hitting the the dirt then you have that two-tone dirt you got this uh the wet and then it's dry and it's just it has that feeling and i like it so much I, I think I like it more the gardens like this than just normal level, especially when they're small. They're, they're, there's something about these little small gardens. Now this one is not it's not raised, right? It's actually buried. And I like how she used all her stones, pillars in the four corners. I like that look and then the brick coming down. And it's just aesthetic, right? and then the hedges and everything, the whole combination of everything. And then she has this little, like little patio with each building, with each area. So everybody 
in her in her town they all have different places to sit so it's a whole community that they gather together so her her island is not all the buildings are not super far away right they're all kind of centered around this big structure they're all around so for her she wanted her the NPCs all the characters to be able to interact with each other a lot more and that's what she loves about it she likes that so it's, it's a cool design because they're all it's all still separated but they're all kind of close so they're not too far away and I like how every single body has something different and next to their buildings you know so we have here a uh, trade place and uh, it's a clothing store so we got like wool right here that is in a way is it kind of makes sense you know if you if you wanted to carry more clothes and all that so she has like a whole, whole resort she has the machines on the side where it's give her cloth and it and it just makes sense and it's so good and I like how she's using the the fences but she's using the gates because they attach to 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 the to the break so we have no gap and it looks really good and the combination of everything is is spectacular everything looks so 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 good you know and i like how her her passage or her path there they don't have to go all the way straight because for her everything is is a design you know so when we look at it from the top of you look at the map everything is a design everything is a is a work of art so this island to me it's, it's not like a town it's not it's not like anything that we have seen because it's it is art it is completely a design you know and then she works around the design to place everybody like even this you know we were talking i was asking her what's this and this is just very simple this is just leads and here is just a fishing spot you know she may do a couple more things in the in the future but literally it's just a place where we sit people can fish it's just a fishing spot there's nothing nothing more that she's planning to add it just it, from the town it lives this way and people can fish and we have this river that's going around all her all her town and it's so so good you know and I like the bridges I like the arch it just everything is a aesthetic everything is a look that is so good here we go again we have a little corner a little patio where people can sit when people can enjoy and then also every time that you sit somewhere and we're panning the camera there's a view there's something to look at that there's something to enjoy about her work about her her build her structure you know even the rivers you know her approach in the river she's been planting grass and as time will go on a whole river is going to be covered with grass and all this natural uh, plant life is going to be growing underneath there and that take is so different because it's not I, I keep my rivers more natural I keep them more with the dirt and, and I don't use path or I don't use that and her it is working so well with her island because everything everything in this island it has a purpose it has a design and, and there, there's this abundance abundance of nature of plants and everything and she's even getting ready for the next buildings and all that so she has like this made out spots already and that they're for the future buildings that we get in as the game keeps getting updates we get new NPC new buildings and right now she's using like a little storage area but it's it's still so nice even there's a storage area for the box and the fishes it looks so good and this little fire pit right here very nice again we got two benches a little bit of decoration a little plant on top of the coffee table we got the steps going down uh we got plant life and then again and those little fire pits that she has across all her island is to give that glow a night so in a way she didn't want to use uh, sometimes many street lights because they were too bright she, she's trying to create this moon that we see at night and it's amazing it's just beautiful beautifully done she had this little working area next to her home uh, she gets a lot of her stuff done here and and again nice is it's not it's not like complicated it's not beyond anything uh, here we she has her little doggo right right next to it with the little house and, and it's just great and then here I learned I didn't know that if you pet the dog it's gonna follow you so you need to pet him again twice so he can stay so I learned something new doing during this island tour I learned something new that that I didn't know but okay so so we're gonna continue walking right and everything because uh, it's so cool because up close 
when, when you look at the patterns, when you look at the roads, when you look at everything, it's, it's, it's different, right? It's, it's, it has this different feel to it as you're walking the town because there's all these little corners, right? And here's this another corner right here and this. I love this. I. This is the first time seeing it. Now I'm seeing it in other streams and all that. And she wants me to give credit to Gamermon because she came up with this in on when she was working on the marina on Spec Island. And she loved it so much that it's so great. And I love it. I love it. I, I never thought about using two stairs together. Leave a gap because it fits perfectly for a, a rowboat to actually dock in there. And it gives another look towards the dock. It's just a different feeling, a different way to approach another dock. So all the docks don't have to be just squares and all that. This is a great way to approach it. And, it's, and it gives an aesthetic. It gives you a look. It gives you something else that, that you can truly appreciate in a build like this again and once again every area every time we sit down somewhere every time we're we're just looking is just amazing views amazing structures amazing design and the way she's using her plant life and decoration and all that and again on the opposite side on the opposite side of the bridge once again we have this little dock you got your boats and i like the pillars on on the very top kind of like giving a little protection and all of that and it's just wonderful I, I can't i was really impressed because for me this was the first time seeing them and that's why she wanted me to make sure that i give credit to the proper person because she took it as an inspiration from somewhere else it wasn't her own thing but again look if you see it right here it looks so good look at that bridge with the statue and then you see the other dock you see the way the river goes around everything everything is is designed to perfection and I you and here here's an again once again fire plate uh, fire pits that a night is gonna give that glow to the bridge instead of using a light post or uh, a lamp or something like that it just gives it and then I like the little smokes coming because it's it just gives a little movement in the air but it's not something that's so distracting and here's when we noticed that the dog was uh, following me so and then she was explaining me oh you need to actually take him back to the place and then pet him twice so he can stay because she was trying to see if the dog would follow her but the dog just wanted to follow me so i needed to pet him twice and we end up doing that and taking him back to the to the to the dog house at some point but here again she's getting she's already thinking so much ahead for the future on dinko and here's another plot another space that she's saving for another NPC or another building or if she decides to move things around you know and uh, she's still working on her town she's still moving things around everything is, is always going to be a, a working pro uh, process so she may be moving things maybe maybe depending on the way the new building looks she may want to put it a little closer and I know she mentioned a couple ideas that she would like to do in the future like she is planning to move some of the buildings around and that's going to happen at some point so, so this part, I'm going to leave it on, right? Because it gives, a, again, a way to look at her island. Uh, I know we're, we're trying to bring the dog over here, but if you, I want you to pay attention on just the surroundings, the way she got the hedges laid out, the way she got just natural grass just growing, the terraforming. A lot of the terraforming has left uh, natural. Uh, she terraformed to get the shapes that she wanted. A lot of it, and, and look at all the grass, just the grass, it's not mow. It's not. It's, it's it's the grass is mow inside where the town is, but it's not mow on the outside, and it gives you that that contrast, right? That that different look, and it feels more alive. It feels more more lived in, like like there's people working on the inside of the town, but not on the outside. And the outside is more rustic, more natural, and all of that. Now these two houses are two of her friends. When they come over, they like to do. Uh, mine runs and collect materials together so two of her friends got their own houses they can come and all that uh and one of them is completely pink the other one's purple if i remember right those are some of the colors that they both love so it's really great because she she put these houses here for all her friends so when when they come and they and they work together and they and they do all these mine runs to collect materials and all that they got their own place and all that and i think that's kind of neat you know 
uh, and and it's and, and it's cool because it's being used and and then you have this friendship that they keep coming in and they keep coming and and working together and then they got their own place so it just makes it even more valuable in my opinion so now here we got John is really again nicely decorated it's not like super overdone but it is so net it's so nice and I like the trees I like the the pots on the front and again once again here's the big fountain the big centerpiece that is surrounding all this uh, that the buildings are surrounding you know and here we got the the town hall right when we came in so now we're heading to the other side and then here we have a little storage unit that's really great I know this is something that we all are doing a lot having a, like a storage unit where we we are either putting all our stuff in and reorganizing it she's gonna be color coding all this in the future so in the future we might be seeing this again but in a whole different way but everything is leading now to Franklin's area that is really nice so we got all these construction places we got the quarry so we can get materials so it is it's, everything is kind of like fits perfectly and I like this space it's a little bigger and but it's it's not crowded but it is it's be it's busy but it's busy in a good way because it's it's so good to look at you know and then like right there you see that little step just one step just one little stair leading to right there one step leading over there like just the way it's terraform or it's just made natural look here we got one one more time we got a little uh fire pit again right there just to give that glow that we're gonna see at night that it looks really really great franklin is just like always expecting his area he's a very picky guy i know that you guys seen it in my video he's he wants things to be done just right in when it comes to his his area but yeah so I, i'm just Oh, wow and like when you look from here and you look towards the middle of the town every view every view every angle it just looks so good and here I was so impressed by the pearl path right the pearl path looks so good on the Franklin South it just matches and it goes great with the palm wood and I was like wow I never would have thought about using the pearl path underneath the house a lot of people use it on the water for the fountains and all that because it gives it that extra blue light uh, blue it just looks more clear and all that but it looks really really good on Franklin's house and I was really impressed by that and again he has his little corner he has his little table look there's the books because he's always doing research so he's always reading and all that and then he has his own little library right over here look even Franklin is walking us toward his library where he does all the study that he needs then he grabs the books from there if he doesn't want to read there he takes it to his little table right next to his own and look at this outdoor library I want to do one they just put it out there I really want to do something like this I gotta figure out how to do it and where does it make sense in my island but it looks so good and once again you know it's the way it's surrounded, the way it's decorated, the intimacy, the the small pay, the the small build, and all that, and the and the space that is on, it's just so good. Once again, here's another plot that she's getting ready for the future for another building, and then, again, look look at that view, look at all those buildings in the back. Everything just looks so good when 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 you're just looking at it and looking around and all that. And I like how she's just thinking ahead. She's just getting prepared. She's just thinking in the future of the game. And I love that because we all have high hopes of this game. We're always thinking that James is going to give us more updates and more roadmap and all that. I love this right here. This little archway right behind this, this little uh, building is so nice. It's, it's minimal. It's simple. But I love it. I just like the feel of it and here's another one that I missed before right next to the town hall again you got the little arch a little city she has all this little seating area and you can see anywhere on this island you will always find a place to sit a place to enjoy enjoy the view and everything is just feels right right and then I like how this leads towards the top deck right here it's just fantastic it's just it, everything just line up and look, and look at the view from the background you see all the other houses you see Franklin's place it looks so good and then this deck is amazing I love the look of all this deck and this uh, the 
the copper fence you know it looks so good here it just it gives it that little extra color that little extra pop and against the dark wood it just looks so good and then this is one of those things that blew my mind i never did it i never thought about it but you know you raise the dirt once you put whatever uh, towel you want on it and then you place the umbrella and it looks like a table and when with the next update all those ottomans we're gonna be able to see it it's just it's gonna be so good i like this corner right here how you got the steps going down one way and step of the other and then she finished it up with that little corner piece right there of the copper with the with the plant and all that and look at this view you guys know i'm all about the view right i'm always looking angles and all this and look at this this is gorgeous it's just so well done it's beautifully you can tell that she has been taking her time care love to her work to her island you know this is not you can't put this together this just takes effort it takes time you see all those big uh, statues on the bridges way up there but the view the way the way you can see every building right that that's something that also impressed me and right here we were i was talking with her about that like it doesn't matter how you look at it you can always see every building you know they're in different shapes different angles different design but you can see them this right here i want one i want one this, this is something that I, I want to do one day this is a sundial and it looks so good you know uh for me this is something i do it's just a design but it's a pattern but it makes sense she made a clock a sundial a sun clock and it's so so good so when the when the sun right now that is we're a little in the shade and all that but at some point in the day the sun does hit it and then it's marking and it's and it's so clever and it's so done and 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 if you're looking for a piece that you need to fill area these are the creative things that we can use in our island to fill to fill up places we don't have to keep just making little parks little seating areas and yes those are good but this is a centerpiece this is something that that it just takes time and design you can use item and you can make it in a whole different way you know i i want to approach this i want to do this too it really inspire me i it's, it's something that i truly love in this island because it's unique and it's different and then it also it leads to this back side over here that is just beautifully it's just another big little park with fountains and all that and then she was explaining that if you put the traps around it like this when the animals jump in there automatically it just goes up automatically so and and you will see it throughout the video you will see like something uh, a little message pop like like it's just sending one away and then in the morning she gets money she then she walks in her routine she goes to different areas she checks and she, if there's one missing she puts another one it's automatic automatic money just coming through every day so nice here we go M more of those uh fire pits across the island and now that it's getting dark you see that little glow that is happening all that is just natural glow and i love this right here right you see right here look at all those fountains and then you see the sundial that where the flags it so good it's just so good i was so impressed all these details you know that we're looking at that we're seeing that we're enjoying that the tree placement you know it you see here you see the building you see the bridge you see the museum look there's a little message a bush devil just and it just goes automatically it's so so clever i can't wait to start putting more of those traps like that around my island but but everything everything is laid out here here are more birth bath again some something that i gotta start using a little bit more because it does give something more to the bills and all that and with the wildlife it just makes sense right especially that this island is so natural feeling it just it looks great it looks so good i like how she's using the thunder egg right there next to the museum as just more pieces to to decorate with i know a lot, a lot of people put them on top of the fountains but using them stand alone like statues and stuff like that i think it's really really great and it's something that uh you guys take inspiration i'm gonna take inspiration and we're gonna keep doing now this area it just still looks so good and it looks fantastic i think i think now that it's dark and it's nighttime we are running towards we can go to the helicopter so we can see the nighttime view right now of the the town so we can 
see the glowing so we can see the layout and this is the first time we're gonna see it from up high and all that oh no okay no no we actually went to sleep because it's getting dark okay so it's not the helicopter time I, I was thinking maybe we were gonna do the helicopter so we're just sleeping we're gonna go to the next day and then we're gonna continue walking in the daytime but I'm just if, even we're re watching it right now and looking at it is I'm blown away as all the details that I'm looking at because now I'm more focused on looking and talking of what I'm seeing what I remember what I was feeling like what what the mood that I was it was created creating as I was just enjoying this island because it's such an amazing thing that she has created it's different it's more unique it's, it's not something that you really gotta be invested to create something like this to use the patterns to use the sidewalk to use different colors and all that in different areas to build something that is going to be truly unique but that it looks good and here's sally's place and the salon with the barn on the back the color scheme the red and white the all the umbrellas matches so well you got the brew you got the stairs the decking area again those uh, copper fences look so good and then I like like every little corner right every corner between the buildings there's something and here we go it's like little alleyways but that you can walk through you can see I like here there, there's another fire pit because at night I can't wait till we fly at night I thought we were about to do that but it's, it's gonna be a little later down the road but it just looks so good right and these little alleyways with the arches just leading to different ways to get in because that's something that I'm trying to do better in my island. It just have more ways to go around and to get to places. That way it's just, just straightforward. And I love that here. The barn with the little fence on the front like that, it looks so good. And the flowers and just the green and it's just amazing. It's, all the detail is so well planned out and the spacing, the layout, once again, is top notch top designer is there's so many things here that I don't approach it this way because it's not my style but I kind of want to and I want to kind of do that look at this map look at that map ah it's incredible it it's just so good it's oh man okay so here here we got her pets um, the the animals and everything uh just just take it all in I, I like how she uses the hedges up more higher so she kind of lift it up put the hedges she does the enclosing the enclosing area i like this bird bath again she lowered it a little more so it looks like the the animals can go there and drink water like the it's just so good i like these pillars right here like it's not just the hedges all the way around but then she has like, like a little the, the fence then you got this pillar and then once again the hedges and it's just the way she break things down I think that's something that we gotta look at it look how she break things down the the pauses that she makes as she's going uh, in different direction because don't forget part of the her build and design is because she's creating this star for right everything has to have this shape so the way she because she needs to make this shape but then the way she uses it to decorate with that's what's impressive but then it looks natural it just looks like everything works together and there's no fighting there's nothing that is not working everything is just working so good you know the silo right there that she didn't put the silo inside she put it on the outside it still reaches but it I don't know it just it works it completely works and it was amazing I like how she got the uh, more fire pits again just illuminating at night this to give it this glow that we're gonna have and again to see all the tree line what a view and it took so much time to do all of this you know uh, at the moment of this video uh, when I was here she was at 747 hours dedicated to this island so you can tell the love the time the energy you know just to make all of this happen and again, here we go, another fishing spot, another little area, just plain, but it just looks good. It, I, I don't know how she makes plain look this good, you know. I like the transition, I like that we're coming from mowing grass, super neat, and then you get there and it's wild. And it's just, 
grass and it looks good it's amazing I, it's, I just don't know how she does it but it looks really good and again every building has like a little patio every building has a seating area and all that and look at those thunder eggs with the goal and the birth bath again is and then look at look at the view okay we're, we're seeing that right i'm concentrating in the middle but look on the side look at that bridge in the background that's one of the things that i love it was how many viewpoints how beautiful everything it doesn't matter which direction you're looking at you can always see the beauty on this island and again here we go another little patio another little bill and and they're not big they're just small but comfortable and looks good you can walk through it you can feel everything and and it's just amazing and then look at this view you know now we're getting the view of the centerpiece of the town but look at that bridge look at how high it is elevated look at all those can kangaroos just sitting there it just to me it was so impactful and and look over here look look, look at the fossil and it's just sitting there but it looks good it is you know the more you concentrate the more you if you if you pause the video you're gonna see so much more details than we are looking at right now because I came to the island twice and I every time I notice even more details and right here we're getting higher because we want to see the view and I'm not the best on the glider as you guys can see I my, my I don't use gliders a lot I, I do it almost everything the hard way and it's taking me forever but once we get up there we're gonna see this view and finally here we are look at this guys guys seriously look at this view wow look at the road look at the fountain look at the buildings and we're just panning in and panning out what a beautiful view this you can tell there's so much love i mean you can't deny that you can't just just push it on the side that it was a whim. This is dedication. This is taking time. This is her going back and forth, finding ways, finding layouts, finding what works best, color scheme, flowers, just everything, you know. Do I use brick? Do I use cobblestone? Do I use this and that? And it's everything. Just take it in, you know. And, and, and that's the thing, you know. If you look at this town, it's very flat, but the layout, so, okay, so there's not a lot of height. There, there's no like second tier, third tier, fourth tier, you know, but the way she laid out every building, the way she laid out her, her trees, the bushes, and, when, and where there's grass, where there's brick, and all of that, everything is just laid out in such a way that, that you can't, you just enjoy it, right? It's, it's just everything, everything is so, so good. You know, and the more I'm looking at it, the more I see the details, the more this viewpoint is just a magnificent thing. And I was just taking it all in. We were talking and I was going back and forth with her, what I liked, what I see, how you can see the building, the palm trees, how you can see from far away. And then I wish that we could go higher, like we had a tower that we can just go so high and not just in a helicopter, but that we can just sit and just take it all in. Okay, so right here, if I remember right, we were going towards the bank. She wanted to me to look at the viewpoint of the bank. Once again, I'm not great at the glider. I, I when I jump, I, I guess I'm not hitting fast enough, so I'm not getting that extra air time. Look, she made it to the bank. I don't make it. And then I fall. And then I'm trying to make it up and I can never make it. So I never had the high viewpoint of the bank, but I did get the viewpoint from the kind of the second level, you know standing right there but it looked good because we, now we're gonna get another type of viewing in this area right here and it looks good I like the way you see the bridges it's, 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 it's like I said in, in, in previous comments uh, every area every angle doesn't matter where you're sitting where you're looking at what you're trying to do everything in this town looks good there's always something nice to look at. There's something nice to enjoy. Is it's just I can't I can't describe the, the feeling that I have when I was here. Is it's just perfection. I mean, I'm gonna keep using the word perfection because I truly feel like every tile counts, every bush counts, 
to make this town work. Everything counted, you know, and and you can tell. 747 hours when I came to this island. That's how much time she has put in into this island. And you can tell, you know, if, even this, if, even those little steps right there with the road, just dip down a little bit, come back up. She could have just made it all together, flat, like a row, but it gives her something else, something more for her to look at on the, this island. Okay, so now I'm very excited because we're gonna cross the bridge. So now we, we're gonna get out of the town, you know? We're gonna get out of the fortress, you know, of the safety of the town. We're gonna go to the wild. We're gonna go and see what she has, the future plans, you know, what's coming, what she's working on, what she's building, you know? It's, she's not done, 747 hours, and she's not done. She's working on another town. She's working on these specific areas that we're gonna see, and it's exciting. But if you see how she's moving through her island, you know, the bridges, the go. We got a double bridge leading to a single bridge, and look how natural this looks. And yes, she told me uh, uh, she, does, uh, she works with the terraforming a lot of the times, so, and I think, the more I'm touring islands, the more I'm seeing it. If you're trying to do that natural look on the island in shape, it seems like if the less terraforming you do, the more natural everything looks, the more natural the path look. They don't look industrial, they just look more natural, right? So, and by seeing that, and now seeing Tiki Touches, and I like how she did those steps coming in. It's two different colors, but this, once I saw this the first time, I was blown away. I have a tree farm, you know, I, I have a tree farm, but it's a tree farm. This is a beautiful tree farm. I never thought about picking a natural area and making my tree farm like this. And guys, this is coming. I'm doing this. I want to pick a place in my island that I don't have to do any terraforming and I want to build my tree farm like this because it's beautiful and it works. So she lifted. Where, where, where she wanted to plant the trees, she lifted it. So it gives it that look. So you have these little hallways. And then she comes, and then she cuts the trees down. She plants everything again. And then she used all this rock path to give it this nat natural, rocky feel. And then she has all her trees. And this is her tree farm. It's just beautiful, right? I mean, it's a different way to go about it. I think most of us, I know, I'm, including me, I just plant all the trees. Tree line, tree line, tree line, tree line. There we go. And then when I need wood, I go over there, cut them all down, plant everything again. I got my wood, get out. I want an area like this. I truly do. Different heights, different levels. I think it does bring something extra to the island. It's something, it's a build that everybody can make. Pick an area in your island. Could be far away, could be very close to your town, whichever one, whatever area that you like that looks natural. If you want this natural feel, and then you build your farm. And if you need to terraform, terraform a little bit. You want a little higher, you want a little this. Oh, you want a step here? Well, put the step there, you know? Just just right the dirt so you can add that step. But the idea is, the way she did that, is going to make something. Okay, so here she was telling me that she wants to make something special here because it's like a, like a little heart shape. And I think it's so good, and I, I can't wait for what she's gonna do there so we can come back one day and see what she did. So we're looking at her map. She was talking to me, future plans, what she wants to do, wh where she's going, what what she's approaching and all that. So all of that, but I left all this in because I, I, you know, it gives you an idea how her island is looking, how the shape, everything is and all of that. So instead of taking a couple things out, I left a lot of, basically I left it all in intact. I was gonna kinda like transition to different areas so we don't see all the walking, but the walking of her island is so beautiful. Look at this bridge. And I don't know if she planned it like that, but river and river, both sides, beautifully. And one thing I noticed in this island is the, the way the map is on her island, there's so much, everything is raised up somehow, naturally, by itself, you know, when she picked this map everything higher. When I look at my map, a lot of it's very flat. I don't have many high tops by itself. Like I, I gotta create my own, my own height. Hers, there's a lot of natural levels to it. So her map is beautifully done to do all this natural. And 
And I just wanted to come out here. I wanted to see where the path led and it led to this little tower. But then this is when I noticed that she has all these dips, ups and down in this map that is just amazing. So as, as she's working in this natural route, the map is already helping her keeping all of this together. And, and it looks like a real jungle out here and it looks so good. It just looks so good. But again, this bridge, single bridge, all up in the air, both rivers on both sides. I love that. Uh, and and you, know, and I'm working in a coastal town, and I love how bridges looks on the rivers and all that. And that's why I love that. I love that one because it has two two rivers on both sides, and it's just it brings a smile to my face. Everything looks great. I like all the ticker torches. I like the the illumination on this area at night. It's the tiki torches, and it gives it that look, that feel, that is really great. I like how she uses the beehives to decorate. And here, another bridge, another area, all well decorated. All, all gray. I, I like my bridges to be high. A lot of people doing flat. That's always gonna be a take on um, what people like. But I like them a little higher up above the water. And once again, I just love it. Love, love how all these little rivers are connecting to one another in and out. There's bridges going over. And look, bird bath again on top of the bridges. It looks good. It looks good. I never used some. I never seen so many bird bath being used as decorative. I've used a few. And they're more like strategic, like, oh, let me put one here because I, I feel like that will look good in a little part. But the way she uses them in her island is really good. And again, Tiki Torches at night, it just gives it this view, this feel to this island. And then this area is awesome. This area is already made for, so when she and her friends, they come over and they're gonna do the deep mine. So we got, uh, a, Teleport station right here, so in and out. So when people arrive, they jump the teleport station, they land right here. We got sleeping back, we got all the tools, we got storage places, we got the mines. It's just well laid out, you know? So when you need your friends to come over and we're gonna do these mine runs and everybody's working together, perfect. You know, instead of doing a long journey and all that, you know, because sometimes we're in a hurry, you know? We, 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 we the friends only got so much time and all that. And, but it, and again, she put it in this desert, in this field, with the rocks, everything, everything. She, you can tell that she's been thinking so much about this, you know, about how to make her layouts, to where to place the item. And I know, and I know, uh, she, she's gone through a lot of trial and error, trial and error. And you can tell, you don't get too many, this many hours just by putting everything in the first spot. You're moving things around, you, you're just tweaking everything to see where everything feels and I like this journey I like the journey of just this rock path leading you to other areas very simple but just rocky one trail we're just going and and it's nice yeah uh, right now we walked it she she offered to do helicopter she offered it I wanted to walk it I wanted to experience her island why she did it this way and then one day this will be fun doing it with the motorbikes just going boom and just riding it and going up and down and all that okay so where are we heading this was her original town this is where she placed everything first before that then she was working on, on her on her fourth town and then then she moved everybody then this became a ghost town but then slowly she's making this to a market and i love the idea of market and once we get to the market i think it's incredible now this, I keep talking about her. I love this. It's all dead. It's dry and all that. I didn't know that when things dry, they did this spawn. So I like that because I learned something. But at the same time, I like this look because let's say you want to make an abandoned farm, an abandoned area in your island. Now I know it can be done. You can make a farm that looks like it's abandoned, like nobody's been taking care of it. And I like that the plants and everything that we planted, they don't despawn, they just stay. And I think that's great because I think this is another way we can design. You know, you can, not everything has to be gorgeous. We can make an area that maybe the first settlers, maybe somebody moved there, but now they move away and the old farm is abandoned, you know. You know, like, like, like in the beginning of a lot of those games, Stardew Valley, you know, that everything is run down. So this gives us an idea and inspiration to make an area that looks run down, that looks just ugly, and it's just abandoned. And I love that. And I think that's why I was so happy to see that because 
I thought eventually all those plants would despawn, but they don't. They just stay. So, and I kind of want to one day make something that looks all abandoned and just, it's just being let go, you know? Okay, so this little piece of land connecting to these different areas, the way she made this little beach area, um, she wanted me to say she took inspiration and she wants to give credit to Bennett, uh, Benny, Elementrix Bill, because this is an inspiration that she had from him. It's just a little island. She made a little deck. We can sit, we can enjoy, and it just looks great, you know? And, and it's true. We, we have this little section islands, these little things that we can make something, something beautiful. I just, and a little area that we can come and relax and all that, and you're building a story. You know, a, a lot of these games, we have to build our own story, our own way that we are approaching, why there's this bill, why there's this, uh, why did we do this uh, tall tower? We always wanna have a way when we're building to make a story, even if it's for ourselves, so we have a purpose on why building this. I like this little dock. This little dock is really great. You know, and I like that it's just one single square leading to it. Like, like you gotta be careful, you gotta balance. This is, this is all, this is, I don't know, something. And then this view, again, here we go, sunset. And over there is her old town that she's turning into a market. And guys, we just gotta get there because I wanna make a market. And, and this is why this island was special, very inspirational. This is why this island tour is long too, because I didn't want to edit anything out. I didn't want to take anything. I want to enjoy the journey. I want you guys to experience. And then to be able to come back and fast forward to the areas that you guys need to see. I, and and yeah, okay, the market, here we go. This, I was so excited because, you know, we don't have uh, like a kiosk or we don't have things way to make a market to happen or to make it feel like a market. But I like how she designed this. So she has a different multi-level to display items, right? But the way she used all the lights, it truly does remind me of market, uh, the, the marketplaces here where I live. They're just like this, with crates, just a little place, just a little square where people are putting stuff and then in and out. And when, they're, when there's nobody, they look empty. They look just like this. And it's so nice, you know? I mean, maybe one day, James, as of this come, maybe he'll give us stalls, like market stalls and all that stuff. But right now, this idea, this area with the flags, with the pose, with some sitting area, but it's so, every square is perfect, laid out exactly for the banner. So I think that fit is perfectly. And then, and then the way she made the display so where we can put items and all of that. And this almost has a feel because she has all these aquariums everywhere. You can think about it like a fish market. But you can also take some of that and have a fish market, vegetable market, clothing market, or just a, like a flea market or any type of market altogether. I think this layout worked out so, so good. Like, I was so impressed. And I was like, you know, I've been thinking how to make a market. I don't have to think about it anymore. I, I like this look, you know, and as we get more updates, more items, more tables, more anything, and maybe Maybe even Jay, the developer, is watching this video and he's like, you know what? I never thought about a, a, a market. Let me see what they actually use. Maybe he'll give us furniture for a market, you know? And then we even go beyond and start creating even more incredible markets. But it's always, always the way you guys are creating your islands and pushing the game and creating these amazing sections that we never think about is, is what bring, brings us uh, to, to want to keep playing this game and to make that in our own islands. This little section, really nice. And guys, don't forget, this was her old town. So she's kind of reworking her town. She's kind of been retweaking it to make it like a market area when people come and all that and they shop and all that. So this was her old town that she's now converting into a whole big farming market area. So, and we're just in the beginning. This is not completely done. Like, like we're seeing the beginning of this market. So I, I wanna clarify that because this is not like the end result yet. She's still working on all this. She's still tweaking. She just came back because she she finally, um, you know, we, we're never done, but she's seen a point that her her fort, her town, that big, the biggest project she ever done 
she's at peace she's good she's comfortable that now she's branching out again into more inspiration more ideas more npc more updates come and then we we always going to be retweaking but don't forget this area that we're looking at right now is is her new project it's revamping the old town there's all her her little christmas island section with all the christmas stuff that she was using and all that now they're all over there and all that she got this little glowing uh crock over here uh, it's just sitting there for now. We'll, we'll figure out eventually what she's planning to do. I, and I thought it was a friendly croc. I was like, oh, look at this. I'm so close. He's I, and never mind. He's not friendly. He doesn't like me. Okay. But it's still amazing, right? It's, it's the approach to her builds and all that. And then this view, this farm view. Guys, 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 this farm view. Look how long it looks. And this is a grass farm, but look how good that looks. And even at night, that soft light, that the just the things in the middle, you know, the, it's just everything is laid out in such a way that it, for me, it brings me joy. I want to make that. My grass farm is not near as pretty. It's a resource thing, you know. I, I never thought about making it because I haven't got to that point, but seeing this, now I'm like, you know, I need to make my tree farm look better for now. I need to make my grass farm look better. You know, we need, I, these are the inspiration that I need so I can make things like this. Look at how truly, this is gorgeous and it's simple. The, the, the great thing about this that is so simple that it looks so good. The simplicity of this build, of the layout, is so good that it makes it stand out. And that's what I took in, you know, we don't have to make things so complicated. Well, myself, let's just put my, myself in there. I overthink a lot of my builds. I'm always planning how I can do this, but I notice that sometimes the simple approach is the best approach. Flat, square, everything is divided. Everything looks so good. And the square crows spread across in different areas of her build. Guys, it's just so good. And I want you to take this inspiration. I want you to take this into your hearts because sometimes simple is the best approach. And this is testimony, this is proof that if you approach it, you know, there's no wrong in any approach. And at the end, it's what you like, what you love, what makes you happy. Look at this, this structure, we've seen this. This is not, not, not nothing new, right? We've seen the bridges, we've seen the bridges on top of of pillars and all that but look at the layout one's higher one's lower and then if you see the fire pits on the top it's creating this orange glow and the orange glow is going all around this building and it's making it feel like there's these lights under the bridge and it's all because of the fire somehow the fire the way the game is breaking the fire the illumination is just creating like we have light under the bridge I was in love with this bridge and having in that opening and this little best section to rest and you're looking up into the sky like if you, if you just think about it like that it's so many these are the little details that make a build stand out and the thing is they're not hard they're not complicated but i've not seen it so when now when you see it we can approach our builds in a whole different way and this is why this is why we're, we're, we're walking the island we're we're looking at it we're enjoying it we're taking it in because everything is just perfection perfection to the point that you wake up and look look at all the sprinklers how they're just watering everything just amazing and i like how she did those little flowers back there but right now I, i'm i'm still in love with this build that's why you see me just standing there taking it all in going around the way she did the flowers and then the flowers they're in different levels so if you see it's kind of like you have a little staircase on the side going up into the bridges and then she put like all these decorations on it it's just beautifully just beautifully done and this once again this is this is what we call aesthetic we don't need the water to grow these plants but i do feel like it does and this is something that i know i've done in my island in my in my greenhouse and stuff like that you don't need the water but it just, in a way, it kind of makes sense. It looks good and it looks incredibly. And right here, 
she was explaining to me how she kind of fencing the doggos in a way, but she left a little opening. But that way it's a little bit easier than on coming into the farm and all that. Because she's hoping, like everybody else, we're hoping to get a rare spawn one day. I only know of two people that ever got one so far, you know, and I check every day, you know, I, I, I always carry a color with me just to make sure if I ever seen one, but to this day we still not seen one, so, but again, okay, let's get back to the farm, and, and look at this, and, and, and we've seen this before, this is not nothing new, a lot of people make, uh, they do their, their work areas like this, but it's really clever, it's good, it matches, it matches the farm and all that. But one thing that I did like, I like the height difference. I like like one area is higher and the other tools, and it's identical tools, but one's high, one's lower. And when they, when they're both producing, everything lands in the same spot and then it just, everything gets back in one. And I like the height difference. I think the height difference makes it look really good. Okay, and then this is a little nice little thing. Uh, we've seen this on if you guys follow spec follow rips and all that we've seen this and this is something that she discovered and it's kind of like you're gliding between these two little spots if you put them like that and you jump right in the middle you glide so people have been making uh, slides uh, to go into the water or a little like pathways with that and then you're just gliding through the path so it's really cool so if you if you never seen it then you saw it here first but if, if you if you've seen it with spec on rips Hey, she's the one that discovered it. So we are on her island, the person that discovered that little, nice little trick. But once again, here we go, the grass farm. It looks so good. I was really impressed. I, I truly enjoy it. I want to make my grass farm to look like this. I think it looks pretty, you know, and I, I like the separation of everything that we have separation, we have walkway, and it just looks really, really nice. Here she was explaining to me how she was just how she takes care, what, what she cuts down and all that. So we just, we were talking about her approach and what she does it and when and when she's gonna harvest and, and no harvest and all of that. But at the end, at the end, I'm a visual type of person. When I design, I like the visual aesthetics. I like the looks of things. I like everything in a build to have a purpose and a design to it. And I, and I, I, I think right now this farm grass farm the simplicity the approach of it is so good so simple it looks really great we've seen this in again many people have done this and it's nice i like that she went a little higher uh, we got a little space separation from her tractor very nice it's simple nice it matches what she's going for it matches the aesthetic of the farm and all of that a little bit decorations on around it and that's you know when it comes to the decoration that always gonna be what's gonna be that's what's gonna separate us right uh, you guys may not like the red flowers, you guys may like more purple or more of this or a different combination of color. But the whole structure, the structure and the combination to have this with her grass farm, it's just nice and nice. I like the fencing that she's using and this, just the whole area. The whole area is good, everything looks good. I like all the water tanks. I like the view from far away. So in, in the both corner, if you notice, in one corner is that, but then the opposite corner we have the tractor. And as you're spinning the camera, it just looks good. You got both corner hitting in a way. And I like all the windmills just in different locations. It looks good. But then she uses it for the purpose to pull all her tools all around it. All right, so now we're gonna get on the helicopter. We're gonna go, I, I believe, we're gonna go to this special area that I really like. She did this amazing build. She didn't want me to show it, but I loved it and I, truly want to make one and I know where I want to make it I believe as we're as you guys watching this video I'm hoping to have a little video of that build me recreating it in an area on my island as well trying to go with the step and step to how to make it uh, because I kind of want to make it I just think it looks so good it's something original it's something that I've not seen on Dinko, and maybe somebody has created it, but I've not seen it. I was, that's why it blew my mind because I never thought of doing something like that. And at the same time, as we're flying, taking the view, look look our islands, you know, not everything over here is all wild, but it looks good. But then sometimes you see her path or you see how we're getting close to the, to her town. And all of this, look at the outside of the town, how she's putting all those boxes, all of that, you know, she, she built this 
all all of it creating each one of them if you see her levels on her bush it's over the hundreds i mean it's amazing okay so here it is this is the structure it's so good you know she she was trying to make a dog i feel like it looks a little like a cat but again it can go both ways but look at the structure she just made it I think it looks good. You can use it as a playground. You can use it as just a standalone structure in your island. I love this. I love this. I want to make it. I want to make it so, so, so bad. Because, I don't know, it brought me so much joy. This is one of those things that, you know, when you see creators pushing the game, pushing the limit of the game, this is one of those things. I like how you use the stairs on the very top for the ears, the beehives for the eyes. And we got a little nose as well and everything the structure the layout everything the combination i think you can use this if 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 we have more items to make a playground for kids and stuff like that like in in the island or something like that i think this could be like a centerpiece of for that but just random i seen people make pyramids right you can put this right next to the pyramid put it right in front of it or something like that you know and then i think this is going to open the door for us for other people to try to create another type of structure. What, what can we make? What kind of animal? What kind of way? Or going to work really well with, with everything that we have uh, going on. So take inspiration. I know you guys can make it too. I think this is going to be fun. I can't wait to build this in my island. I think, uh, and I'm pretty sure, this is going to go in my coastal town. I think I know a place. I think I know where I want to put it. And it's going to be nice. It's gonna be great. I think it's clever, especially when you look at it from the from the helicopter, from on top of the view, and just looking at it. But the front looks really good, and I feel like when you look at it from the back, you see, you see the body of the animal. And I like how she used the steps to create those little extra details, and the whole combination, you know. And Asi, I love it. I still to this day, I love it. I know, I know you like no, 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 but I love it, and I told you I was gonna show it. Because I love this build. I just like the whole structure of it. And I can't wait. I can't wait to do it. You know. And I'm going to try to make a little video of it. So all the people can also build it. And they can also approach it their own way. And I can't wait what inspiration this is going to do for other people. To build something like this. Similar or different. But one more time we're going to look at the view of the air. You can see the body. It just looks so good. Like... It looks so good okay so now we're gonna look at the town we're gonna have a little air view of the town we were looking at all the outside the way she she had to do look at all the work and effort it has to go to put all these flowers the great thing that what she was telling me is at the same time she harvests from this outside of the flower so when she needs something she come she harvests and then they repopulate so it's such a good way to approach it because it's a double benefit for her bill is is um it takes a lot of time, a lot of work. As you can see, there's all these areas that she still hasn't finished. But when she needs flowers, she just harvests them, plants them, and then they'll multiply. So it's, it's great. It's, it's a win-win. And all these trees, all those trees that you see, she had to plant them. So she can have this tree outline around her island the, of everything. And yeah, it's, it's magnificent. It's great. I'm so, so impressed with every detail that she has done in this build. When you look at things from far away and you see all those, you see the town as is coming into view and the item placement, it's, it's just everything, it's, it works together so well that, that is, you can tell, you, you can tell that she loves her island, she loves this game, she loves the worship brand. And then I'm seeing all this outside little sitting area as well. She even got special places on the outside where she's been putting things uh areas just to sit again and and to view and i didn't get to go to those by by walking there so maybe in the future we'll come back we'll do another tour we'll see how everything is laid out how everything is looking but yeah it's it's so good this this island i'm hoping that every every single person is taking amazing inspiration amazing ideas different ways to approach your build maybe you've been trying to do something clever something like this with a design in your town and you thought that maybe it was too hard to do well this is proof that if you take your time you do it right you 
you put the dedication on it, don't give up. You can accomplish all of this as well. And not and not just on the outside. Look look at the inside. Look all the water bushes. You know, she's up to here. She still needs to finish. If you look more higher, you see that there's none. She's still to plan that. So she, she's still working. She's still all of you know developing and making this island even more beautiful, more standing out, more ideas. And then she's she's watching all the creators. She's also getting inspired. So as she's getting inspired, she, she may be redoing a couple other areas and all that. And I always feel like our islands are always gonna be evolving. I don't think we're ever gonna have a final final island unless we just don't wanna work on it anymore because I feel like we're always gonna be improving, especially right now. We are in early access, right? All of us that are playing with early access. James is still developing. He's still making more more content, more updates, more items. So even though we got to a point of our islands that we may use all the items, we whatever's coming next is gonna make us wanna reduce sections. You know, and we have seen some of the leaked feature, uh, pictures. We've seen gazebos, we've seen the new flowers. So we're gonna get more items and we're gonna be like, oh man, I can do this here. Oh man, I can upgrade this area. Oh wow, I can do this. And and this is why, this is why we, we are never gonna finish until James says, that's it. I'm not doing anything else. We're never, I'm not doing any more updates. And then we know what we have is what we have. And then it's up to us to keep going, to keep pushing, to keep just going beyond what we can do and what creations we can make with the items that we have. But we're just looking the town on the air. We're just panning the camera around because you can see the star for in some of the areas. You can kind of see how the, the star on the outside of the river is just shaping up. And it's just beautiful, wonderful. You know, she was telling me so many things uh, as we're flying, to telling me that the work, the, the everything that she had to do, gathering material. And I asked her, I did ask her if she had any help creating this island. And it's been all her. She has helped people come in. People have with the done my runs and stuff like that. But placing everything, the layout, it's been all her. So this is even more impressive because like I said, 747 hours when I came to this island. That's how long she's been playing the, the game, working on her island. And don't forget that she had a, an original town that she put some time to it. And then she came over here and did all this work because she wanted to create something more amazing in this in this world, in this game, you know? And, and it's, it was a pleasure to listen to her to explaining the details, the way she approached this, the way she did everything. And I had a great time. We laugh, we enjoy. We, it was such a pleasure to be able to talk with her, to enjoy the, her island, you know, in every aspect, in every nook and cranny. She didn't hit anything. We saw everything, everything that we, we needed to see and approach. And the future stuff that she's working on, like the marketplace, upgrading the farm, and all those areas. It's an incredible visual video, splendid. You know, what more can I say about this item? I'm excited. I want to see what you guys are going to say, what you guys are going to comment, what, what you guys took from it, what you guys are loving about it. Because this place, this world that she created, it's amazing and I'm hoping every single one of you your inspiration is kicked up to a high gear to a whole different level so now we're getting ready this is the one of the final uh, shots right now on the video we are gonna have a little Q&A with the actual person that created Ozzy I'm gonna ask her a couple questions she's gonna answer and we're gonna get to know her just a little bit more so I'm excited for that because this is this is a way that we can hear, that we can see what, what went through her mind as she created this magnificent place, this world, this island. So that's coming up. Don't leave just yet, because I think that's one of the most important things that we are gonna talk about is her island. We are here with Ossie. She's the creator of this island that we've just been watching today. So- Hello everyone. So yeah, Ossie, so what was the inspiration to create your star fort? Um, star forts are actually uh, real life um, 
uh, thing that you can see in the world. So I've always been fascinated by them. Um, they're like a fortified military um, outpost and I've just always wanted to build one in a game, but I've never been able to until Dinkum. Okay, and what's, what was the hardest part of building the Star Force? Uh, the hardest part was keeping the stamina to continue on with the laying of the foundations. Um, once I started um, getting all the points of the star, um, uh, if I have a look at the map, so all the different points of the star and trying to um, get them even and working with the angles, uh, it got very frustrating towards the end. So the last point of the star that I worked on was in Rain's area, so that point doesn't quite look or sit the way I would like it to, but I was so frustrated with it at the time that I just decided enough is enough, I have to stop and start working on other things. Um, and that's when I started laying out grass and started to think about decorating on the outside and, um, and start laying out um, where I would put the town, the different buildings and things like that. Okay. Um, okay, so uh, I got the map open. We're looking at the Star 4, like you mentioned. So, so when you were building it, do you use paper to put it first, design it on the outside to know how many square, or you did it all by, by putting so, it and looking at not the map? To, I didn't make it so it was um, the squares, but I did draw one on a grid paper just so that I could break it down into smaller shapes because okay. um, it, it's such a large build so whenever you're doing a big build like that you need to break it down into small shapes so you can focus on one part or one section at a time so I broke it down into shapes and I saw that I needed to work on the pentagon shape first mm -hmm. and so that's where I started and it kind of grew from there okay yeah because I know when when I'm designing, uh, you know, I have a graph paper notebook, and and I kind of do my initial layout that way, so I kind of know at least yeah. how many spaces, or if or if I know I got a, a section that's let's say uh, 15 square wide and 11 high, then I kind of yeah. I can kind of design something that way I don't do it, to see if I can create something. That's why I was wondering because the Star Force there's a, so much layout that you have to do yeah and not just on the there outside, was but just also your all your pathing is very specific. yeah for the town and everything so I had to um I did use like I I took photos in game as well as using the the paper I wrote down um all the different shapes and colors of all the different buildings and what would work better um grouped together so I've got Sally and the bank and Irwin together because they all have red tones in their building. Um, I also wanted to kind of match and mirror the different points of the star so I've got Irwin on one point and Rain on the other point so that's mm. animals and then gardens so they kind of match and mirror each other. I've got the the housing where my house is on one point and Franklin where all the and the workshop on the other points so they kind of match and mirror each other um with the bridge it's so big and elaborate it needed a lot of um balancing so on the other point i've got the the um the garden walkway with the fountains and stuff so it kind of softens and, and matches that energy yes okay and okay so next question will be uh I think you uh, you have people helping you on this bill, like friends. No, I did no. it all on myself. All yourself, okay. <laughs> yeah, all the wow. gathering of resources. Um, yeah, everything on my own. So the, laying the foundations took me about two and a half real life months to do, and then once I started um, the decorating, I guess it's probably another month of getting everything decorated. Wow, so three months all by yourself. And I'm actually I'm still decorating, so slowly getting the um, slowly getting the bottle and the bottle brush all the way around the inside of the star fort. Yeah. I've finished the planter boxes, but I still need to 
um, lay the grass for the water. So that's another thing that I haven't finished yet. Wow, that's 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 impressive. Um, being honest, because you know people know that I have Nestor. She helps me out. I mean, there's yeah. It, it takes a long time to gather resources, and it really it, does. It, especially <laughs> when you want to design, you know, you, you want to keep designing, but you need resources. And and, yeah. and and we're all trying to play the game legit, you know, um, uh, because I, I I do feel like it makes the game experience a lot better, and and I think it's good for people to hear that, you know, that that even by yourself you were able to accomplish, and and you never gave up, you kept going. No, and well, yeah, there was times where I thought I would, but what I did to keep my spirits up was just go, okay, well, I'm frustrated with this part at the moment, so let's just do something else right now and and get back to it when I when I'm feeling a bit better about it and that's exactly what I was gonna bring up next because I know I don't yeah. I sometimes yeah. I'm building something and you get stuck or your your inspiration is not there so then you move on to another uh, another area that where you're inspired to work on that and then you can come back and and it seems like that helps you too because I know I know it helps yeah. me to take a break sometimes like yeah looking after the animals and gardening and um and just you know pottering around and 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 tweaking different things um like the lighting and stuff like that kind of brings back the motivation to go back and do the things that was a little bit frustrating before all right so now this one this one could be a tricky question because everything you've done is truly amazing but what's your most favorite build so far? Like that you know, this is my favorite build that I've done so far. Um, oh my gosh, I think it's the garden walk, the the little fountain walk that I did. Like, I I wasn't sure about it, um, but once I put the I used the yellow grass, the pathing, it kind of all came together, and I and I really love that little area. Okay, nice. Yeah, because there, there, there's always something, you right? You, you build something and you know, like, it, it could be simple, it could be very elaborate, but you know you, you love that. And and it might sound really strange because it does look like the most simple part, but it, it, it was a lot of fun to to bring it together and to place um, pots in and, and ferns and bushes and um, put the flowers all down and stuff. And it's... Yeah, it's just one of my favorite little spots to go to. Okay. All right. So now, uh, because I know people probably are wondering and how we how we get inspiration. People know how I get my inspiration. I go on real life. Usually I have an idea. I go to Google, research until I find something that inspires me. And then I try to imitate as much as I can in Dinkum. So how you get your inspiration for your builds, for your ideas? So for this, for the staff fort, I've got a, um, I've got some different aerial pictures of real life star forts and I, I, I take inspiration from that um, for the game Dinkum with all the different decorating and stuff there's I get inspiration from Reeps um, from yourself from spec bites and then also from LJ um, I love watching um, lots of different Dinkum um, content and I'm always, always getting inspiration from other builders okay and for everybody that's watching in the description I'm gonna put each of one of those creators um, as a link so you guys can also see them that way you guys can see where she's getting her inspiration all right so two more questions that I will have is the next one it will be why why are you playing Dinko what why you like about Dinko the most Right now. Uh, I love that it's an Australian based game so I've never really come across anything um, anything like it and being Australian um, I, I don't know there's just something about um, running around and the colors and the feel um, talking to all the different characters it's just so much fun to have something that's that speaks to my Australian background and then last question, just in case James is watching. Hi, James. Um, what would you like to see in the future? We know what's coming and there's some things that he has shown on the next update. And we know there's 
in the roadmap, there's at least three more updates before official full build release. What other things you would like to see to come into Dincom if you, you don't think James has thought about it yet? Um, okay, so just more variations, um, colors in, in the different, um, like color vari variations, um, stairs to match all the different path blocks. Um, love to be able to see some of the inside decorations being able to use them outside would be amazing. Um, yeah, just being able to have um, more choice as a builder. More choices, okay. I think we all agree on that. Uh, I think the more the more choices, the more item, the more tool, anything, anything will always be more welcome because I do believe this game is becoming more of a builder design game with some farming elements now. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I do miss my farming though. I miss driving the tractor. <laughs> well, that's you got to bring it to the fore and that'd be your vehicle. I do. You just drive it around. My next, my next big build, um, my next mega build will be based around all the different vehicles that we have. Um, now that I know that my town is safe and everybody's happy and, and situated, I'll be focusing more on fun builds um, to do with games and racing and, and that type of thing. Okay, that's going to be exciting because that was going to be one last thing that I forgot to ask. What was what's your future plans? But now we heard it. Yeah. And all that stuff. Yeah. It's really, really exciting. Well, I want to say thank you. Thank you so much, Asi, for letting me come over. Uh, check your island. I, I got a lot of inspiration. I think a lot of people are going to be very inspired. One of my favorite builds, even though you said you didn't like it, is the Bruno. The Bruno statue. <laughs> I, we I don't talk make about one. Bruno. <laughs> I want to make one. I want to make one so oh, bad right no. now. So that's going to come. You're going to get full credit uh, oh, if, whenever no. I get that. Because hey, inspiration is inspiration. And, yeah, yeah. And that was one of my favorite. But there were always, there's going to be so many details in this island that I think people are going to appreciate. I think a lot of people are going to be very inspired. And, and yeah, and just hearing from you, also from the designer, from, from the creator of this beautiful island, I think it's also going to open people's mind to what they can do. Because your island is truly, truly different than anything else that I've seen. Oh, thank you so much, Jose, and I really appreciate what you do and your content. Um, you've inspired me so much, especially using bridges. I just, it's just such a joy to be able to share that with you. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, well, I'll say bye for now. Okay. Right, bye, bye, everybody.